Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Generation Gap. We're going to feature two models of the Lamborghini Super Veloce, which is the Murcielago SV from Kyosho and the recent SV model from Termac Works, which is the Aventador SV. The SV moniker had previously appeared on the Giablo and Miura. SV variants are more track oriented than the normal production variants of the Lamborghini's Halo car and they are usually produced in limited numbers. We first look at the Kyosho model which is the Lamborghini Murcielago LP670-4 Super Veloce that is quite a mouthful but the model is fantastic it is screwed upon at a plastic base comes with an acrylic case too looking at around this is probably my favorite uh, Kyosho model and here we have the Aventador from Termac Works it comes with a box and it seems like it's a container It is part of their Global 64, which is their basic line. We're going to take a closer look, see the differences and improvements of the Super Veloce moniker. Very nice to see them side by side. When we start with the Murcielago from Kyosho this is drop dead gorgeous it rolls really well the rubber tires are fantastic it's close to hot wheels uh, real riders everything about this car is very close to accurate from the tires the proportions start at the front take a look at the headlights there are plastic inserted lens looks like a real deal the lamborghini raging bull emblem in the middle black accents and the chin splitter going to the side or on the top very high quality i like the paint bright yellow there's the sv decals on the rear fender take a look at the wheels they are glossy black finish with rubber tires it's a prototypical just like the actual car although it doesn't have any disc brakes the base is plastic it's all black it's riveted the tire setup is staggered which means the rear tires are much more wider i like the overall precision of the proportions of the car going out the rear end all the details in there inserted plastic lens for the taillights the metal exhaust is huge, black out diffuser, Lamborghini emblem in the middle, there's that giant wing, the dining table at the back, I like the articulation, it's like the carbon fiber look, very nice, even though it's just a black plastic. There's a side vents and the side skirts, I really like the deep dish wheels in the rear very excellent side mirrors are black interior is black windows are clear tinted it's pretty basic but it is very high quality great example of the Murcielago SV and now we move on to the Aventador SV from Tarmac Works even though this is their basic line it is pretty awesome great amount of details all around I like the overall proportion it's close to 1 to 64 it has inserted lens details for the headlights together with the daytime rain lights pretty awesome raging bull at the front black out chin splitter for better aerodynamics going to the side I like the overall silhouette it rolls pretty fine although it wobbles so much at the rear but i like the wheels the sv decals and the rear fender 
it has this rubbery material side mirrors the wheels are like a cobweb design pretty fantastic it doesn't have any disc brakes inside although it has a rubber tires it's also a staggered setup rears are fatter wider base is plastic it's all black there's two screws it has vents on the side and one on the top to feed air of that massive v12 interior is black it's pretty basic but it's nice to have now moving on to the rear it has a great amount of details including the inserted lens for the taillights there's the aventador sv nameplate quad tip exhaust in the middle there's a huge diffuser it's all finished in black and then of course the dining table at the back it's pretty tall the side skirt is also finished in black kind of like a matte finish pretty cool there's the uh, window louvers at the back it's not glass like the normal aventador it's a louver so it will extract hot air inside so the v12 is not gonna suffocate when it comes to track day sessions when it comes to scaling both are very close to accurate the, the overall dimensions and proportions seems about right as you can see side by side the Murcielago seems to be much more lower to the ground comment down below what you guys think and let me know which one do you prefer for me i like the Murcielago sv better than the aventador because of the overall execution of kyosho it's far more better when it comes to the level of details and there you have it two generations of the super veloce moniker of lamborghini's halo car the Merchalago SV from Kyosho, which is my favorite, and the Aventador SV from Tarmac Works. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel and I see you on the next one.